Hey everybody, this is example number one for mechanics of materials covering the basic principles of stress. The problem statement that we have is we're asked to find the average normal stress at points A, B, and C. The diameter of each segment is shown in the figure below. So here is our figure. And we need to find the stress, the average normal stress at point A, at point B, and point C. And we have different loads acting on this uh, shaft, uh, this component. We have three kips acting to the left here, nine kips acting to the right, eight kips acting to the left, and two kips acting to the right. And this, uh, the this portion of the, uh, this part of the component has a diameter of one inch. This has a diameter of two inches, and this over here has a diameter of one inch. So the approach we're going to use is for all three points, we're going to take a sectional cut at that point and find the internal axial force and then calculate the cross-sectional area and lastly calculate the average normal stress. And we'll just replicate this process for all three points, A, B, and C. So first we'll consider point A. So we take a cut at location A. And here we show the internal axial force uh, in the positive sense and we sum the forces in the horizontal direction and find that the axial force is three kips tension. Next, we're gonna calculate the cross-sectional area at this location, and it's equal to pi d squared over four, and the diameter is one inch. So the cross-sectional area is equal to 0 0.25 times pi inches, to the s inches squared. And then we can calculate the average normal stress at this location, and it's simply the the axial force divided by the cross-sectional area at this location. So three divided by 0 0.25 pi. So our average normal stress is equal to 3.82 KSI, and this is in tension. Next, we're gonna consider point B. And so we take a sectional cut at point B. We sum the forces in the horizontal direction and we show the internal axial force. We always try to show it in the, at the sectional cut in the positive sense. And when we sum the forces, we find that the axial force is equal to negative six kips, which means that the direction we show in our sectional cut, it's the opposite directions. It's, it's the opposite direction, which means that this is in compression. There's a compressive force at point B. So the negative, all the negative indicates is that there's a compressive force instead of tensile force. Next, we calculate the cross-sectional area at this location, and the diameter is two inches over here, so it's pi d squared over four. So our cross-sectional area is equal to pi inches to the set inches squared. And the average normal stress is equal to the axial force divided by the cross-sectional area. The average normal stress is equal to negative six divided by pi, so we have negative 1.91 KSI, or if we just wanna say 1.91 KSI in compression. And lastly, we're gonna consider point C, and again, we take a sectional cut at point C. In the previous examples, we took a sectional cut uh, going, uh, we took a sectional cut, so for example, if we go back to the figure, we took a sectional cut here and here, and we considered the forces to, to the left of the cut. But in point C, we're gonna take the sectional cut and look at the forces to the right of it. So it's our choice. So we just took, this is the most simple approach for point C. We take the cut and we, we consider the external forces to the right of the cut. And we have our internal axial force that's shown in the positive sense. We sum the forces in the horizontal direction and find that the internal axial force is equal to two kips, and that's positive, so it's in tension. Next, we calculate the cross-sectional area at this location, pi d squared over four. So we have 0 0.25 times pi inches to the inches squared. And the average normal stress is equal to the axial force divided by the cross-sectional area, and so it's equal to 2.55. KSI intention. And this is the end of this example. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and please also visit our website where we have spreadsheets and videos for all from for all the examples that we cover cover at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.